we have in place what is arguably the finest community college in the state of New York. It's respected, it's relied upon, I think it's even cherished. One of the best community colleges in the country. That's a jewel to have right here in our backyard and I give Kate a lot of credit for that. She is all about partnerships and I think that really is a thread that you've seen throughout her presidency. As long as we continue finding new partners, growing new programming, we will be in really good shape. Corning Community College is fortunate. It's had an array of very competent, committed presidents, and each of them, in turn, has faced a different set of challenges. When Dr. Douglas began in 2011, I think we were in a really challenging time. We were the last community college, I believe, in New York State to have a faculty that was not unionized, and that changed under Bud Amen, and that really changed a lot about the culture. I, I think that at that time, the college really was was at a crossroads. There was a fair amount of division on the college campus when they started the search. A lot of excitement on campus when Dr. Douglas was chosen to be the president. The day it was announced to the faculty and staff, she was there, and we didn't know that at the time. The sixth president of Harding Community College, Dr. Catherine. <laughs> and she received a standing ovation. We were so happy. There was something that gave us hope, gave us a feeling that this is somebody who's gonna listen to us and help us work out some of our problems. It's not as if the college can stop while you catch up, while you learn the culture. She just kind of hit the ground running. We had just been through a difficult recession. And there was a real issue with respect to declining enrollment. That was a challenge that I don't think any of her predecessors were ever obliged to confront. The college underwent a very well-planned, well-researched, well-thought-out reorganization. And we recognized that we had to kind of transform ourselves, quality rather than quantity, you could say. It was a difficult thing to do, but it had to be done, and, and she led us through it, and I think we'll be forever grateful. And so she made a real difference right out of the gate. She kept going at a lightning speed to make things happen. There was kind of a pent-up demand, let's fix the facilities. Things like the library renovation, which now incorporates a learning common space. Updating of the library, the commons, the athletic facilities. Having a residence hall has allowed us to recruit students from out of the area. And it put Corning Community College on the map as a campus that is 24 hours, as a campus that really gives back to its students. All of those projects have led to really what's needed for a 21st century education for our students, collaborative space where students and faculty can work together to solve the problems of the future. I feel even today when I bring someone on campus, those are the things I want to show people. It looks much more modern. It looks like a college campus. It feels like a college campus. The footprint of the college is not limited to Spencer Hill. We wanted a presence downtown. We were asked to have more of a presence. I felt like the community needed that presence. We embraced this whole concept of putting a health education center in downtown Corning. She recognized the need, got people together, a very collaborative approach. And Kate worked tirelessly to get that building built. It's a great example of bringing the community and the college closer together. There is a close relationship between the employers, between local government and the college, and Kate has been able to uh, cultivate that. So I think our mission at the college is to create the workforce that's needed in our region. Really, it is about the partnerships. Partnerships have led us to create new programming that is 21st century programming. Kate came at a time when some of the workforce needs were changing, and she quickly adapted the curriculum at Corning Community College to meet the needs of Corning Incorporated and for that we're very appreciative. Some of the employers had said they really had the need for welders. So through the help of the state, local governments, in the Elmira Center, we have a welding program. Here's the community college providing both the training and the chance for employment right here at home. If we want to continue to grow and we want our students to be ready to work in diverse settings, we need to provide that on our campus. With the Diversity Center, it starts with the leadership that Dr. Douglas has in that everyone who comes to work at Corning Community College or comes to study here has something to offer and we can all learn from each other. She's been really committed to sustainability, how the college can be more sustainable environmentally, people-wise, fiscally. And I see that as something else that will continue to grow beyond her time here. 
As Kate Douglas leaves the college, I think we're really set in a position to move forward. Community is our middle name. Kate knew that and she has done a tremendous job. People in the community recognize the value of the college. What is best for the college, what is best for the student, as long as any future president continues to approach things that way, I think we're in great shape. Embrace the faculty, support the faculty, help lead them, but most important, listen to them. And that's something that Kate did uh, very, very well. Most importantly, she's changed the psychology of the place. It is today a place that is vastly more optimistic. I think she's leaving us with a very stable idea of what we're trying to do, really being there for students and putting students first. I look at Kate's tenure from 2011 to 2019, and there's no question in every measurable way the college is a better place than it was before she came. That's a remarkable thing.